everybody, it's Howard again with another CD and vinyl update. I hope you're all keeping well. Uh, for this update, I've got uh, one vinyl to show on uh, quite a few CDs. It's the usual mishmash of styles. Uh, so, what I normally do now is I normally show you what's playing in the background, but uh, what's playing in the background is the first album that I'm going to show, which is the one vinyl. Okay, so what is playing in the background? is the last studio album by Sodom and this is Decision Day. This is here on a two album gatefold. This is on SPV Records and it came in a nice 180 gram Red vinyl with a custom center ring. Great, great thrash owl. It kind of reminds me of um, modern day creator. Because uh, the record shop I normally go to, he started selling new vinyl, and uh, this is one of the new vinyls that he had in, in stock. I don't know why, for some reason. Uh, the bloke who owns the is in his 60s and he normally plays um, like Northern Soul music but all his new vinyl that he's got in there it's all black metal and death metal and thrash metal for some reason I don't know if he's uh, managed, how he's managed to get hold of all them so I'll go probably go back and uh, pick up some more thrash and black metal that he's got in stock okay so that's it for the vinyl and now it's the CDs, it's quite a, a mishmash of all kinds of different styles. So starting off with uh, two CDs that I got as part of a job out by the same band. And the first one is a classic album from 1988. And it is the debut album by Winger. Great melodic rock. I think it's probably an album that probably most people know. This is a... OG pressing and hopefully you can make out the track listing there. It's got an actual uh, bonus track called High and Higher, which is a really great song. I don't know why that song was omitted from the final track listing. Great melodic rock song. Great songs like 17, State of Emergency, Madeline, Hungry. I think everyone probably knows this album. I recommend it. And the second album that I got in the job part was from 1993 and it is, of course, Paul Bywinger. This is also another OG pressing. And there's the chart listing. It's, it's a good album. It's, I don't think it's as good as the first two albums. It's a slightly, got a slightly more grungy feel to it, but it's, it's still a good album. I managed to get both these albums for three pounds. 75 each, bag it. Uh, next, some German heavy metal, stroke power metal, and it is the debut album by Raw Ed Rex. I actually showed their second album, Diary in Black, uh, a few updates ago. That's in Trapmaston, and this is on AFM Records. Great Jim Bow Teutonic. Power metal. Great songs like Town of Skulls, Mr. Hyde, Holy War. I feel like uh, Gamma Ray, Hammerfall, Iron Savior, you'll enjoy some album. Good stuff. Uh, next is an album I bought a few weeks ago and they actually sent me the uh, they actually sent me the correct C D sleeve and uh, Backing on the CD, but they actually set the wrong disc inside. So I managed to find another copy pretty cheap on eBay, and it is Twice Shy by Great White. Oops, excuse me. This is on Capitol Records, and the really track listing. Great, great album. We used to have this on cassette back in the day. Great bluesy hard rock, great songs like Move It. I 
Mark the Hunter. Great. Well, I'm not probably the most people probably, probably know. We've got great stuff. Next, another album that I got very cheap on eBay. This was £3.95 delivered. And I think it's their, I'm sure it's their fourth album. And it is by uh, Canadian rockers, Killer Dwarfs and Dirty Weapons. This is on Epic Records. Great, I love it rock. Great songs like Dirty Weapons, Last Laugh, Nothing Gets Nothing. Great bargain, I recommend it. I think this is from, I think this is from 1990. So I want to look out now for Big Deal, which is now nice to have back in the day, and for some reason it's quite expensive to buy on vinyl and cassette, uh, CD, sorry. But uh, I better look out for that. Good stuff. Uh, next, a classic album that I got from the same record shop I got the Sodom album from, and this was two ninety nine, and uh, I think it was Carly Milder. You voted this is number one album when you did this recent video on the best albums of 1985 and it is classic spreading these things by Anthrax. This is on Island Records and there's the track listing. Absolutely brilliant album. So I think it's all killer, no feel, no feel at all. Uh, best songs, Stand Up For. Band and Dangerous, AIR, Madhouse, it's an album that everyone knows. Great, great album. Uh, next, a album that I used to have uh, back on CD uh, before the call. So, I actually found a cheapish copy on eBay. And it is the second album from 1986 by the band Le Mans. This is on Sony Records, Yes to Rock, uh, yeah, Yes to Rock label as well. Great melodic hard rock. Featuring uh, Pete Marino, who was the lead singer, went on to be the lead singer of Cacophony, and also the band 9.0, and the guitar player uh, Derek Frigo, I don't think that's how you pronounce it, went on to join Enough's Enough. Great melodic hard rock. Great songs like uh, I can read the writing. Some great songs like Chained, Addicted. Great, great melodic hard rock. I oh, recommend you try that on a copy of it. Uh, next, a, I think it's the only one album that they ever did, and it's by an Australian band. The, from 1989 and the band are called Dumont and the album is called Body Language. This is on the Giant label and there's the track listing and their claim for fame is that they supported <coughs> sorry, excuse me, Motley Crue on their Dr. Feel Good tour in Australia in 89. Uh, great songs like uh, Whack Your Body, In My Dreams, if you like Bon Jovi, you'll enjoy these. Good melodic hard rock. Next, the album from 1992, and it is the second album by Babylon AD, Nothing Sacred. This is on the Arista label, and there's the Travis, now we can make it out without the clown. Yeah, it's a good album, I don't think it's as good as the first album. It's still got some good songs like uh, Bad Lord, So Savage the Heart, Slavey Body. Great melodic hard rock, I recommend it. Next, some traditional, that new way of traditional heavy metal from uh, America, I think from. This is a band that I've been seeing shown quite a lot of times members of the VCMC and I think this is their second album and it is Night Demon Darkness Remains. This is on a Digipack and it's on the Steam Hammer record label. And 
as the track listing. There's a really great song in there called Maiden Hell. She's a bit like uh, Metal Crew by Sabaton where uh, Sabaton used the names of metal bands and the lyrics for that song. Maiden Hell on this album is made up by song titles from Iron Maiden. Really great song. Great album as well. Played it all the way through. Highly recommend it. Uh, next is a album that I used to have uh, on CD for the call last year. It's one of the mystery ones. I don't know why I got rid of it. I have no idea. It was just snuck under something else. So I've had to rebuy it and uh, it actually unfortunately cost a, a pretty penny. I did bid for it on another option uh, a few weeks ago and I got gazumped in the last 30 seconds, which is always the case. So unfortunately I had to pay £21 for this and it is the debut album from 1991 by Tough. <laughs> Excuse me. What comes around goes around. Great, great, glammy, melodic rock. This is on the Atlantic label. Great songs like Look a Pop, Look a Pit Bridge, Your New Generation, Hey, Kissing You Goodbye, Good Guys Wear Block. Highly, highly recommended. If you like hair, glam metal, great, great album. Oh killer, no killer. Good stuff. And um, next, finally, is a a semi get a semi grail. Uh, it's one of the albums that doesn't seem to turn up all that often in the UK. It's quite common in America, but uh, I could have ordered it for America. But it's like the CD was cheap enough. It's like eight nine pound, but it's like twenty five thirty pound shipping. Which then would have made it too expensive, but luckily, like I said, there was a seller in the UK selling a copy. I managed to get it for £15. It's quite a rare CD, like I said, it's quite a rare CD to see in the UK. And it is the second album by Texan Rockers, Dangerous Toys, and Alicious Acres. This is on, of course, Columbia Records. There's the track listing. Great, great album. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good album, but it's, it's, it's probably not as good as the first album, but still, I reckon you can track it on a copy. Great songs like Gunfighter, Gimme No Loop, Six and Stones, Sugar, Leather and the Mail. If you like the first album, you enjoy this album. Good. Like I said, it's kind of like a semi grill. Like I said, it's pretty hard to find in the UK. Okay, so that's it for this update. I hope you're all staying safe. Uh, like I say, one of the record shops in where, where I live, the hall was opened, and the other one opened last Monday. So hopefully I can go down tomorrow and start digging. Okay, so until next time, of course, stay metal. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. Cheers. Thanks for uh, putting up with me for the last 13 minutes and 50 seconds. So until next time, of course, stay safe. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you, care. Bye. Cheers. Bye.